Hi traders, in this video we will analyze a breakout potential. Hold the position and close the position. Breakout potential depends on three factors. The first is chart. What do we mean by the schedule? Chart is available for everybody. We can assume where participants will close position and where other participants can reverse their position then slow down or turn the price movement on the other side. The second is an order book. In the order book we can see amounts of participants which can slow down or turn a price movement. The third is trades that were executed. In the ticks fit we can see a decrease in trading activity in our direction, which will be a signal for us to finish the move. All these factors have to work together. For example, we see that resistance can form on a chart. There is also a large participant's amount in the order book. But good activity continues in our direction and due to this activity we can see that the movement has enough forces to realize this amount. This is a signal for us to hold a position. It also works in reverse. For example, according to the chart, the closest resistance is still far away. The breakout goes through an empty order book and there is no activity in our direction. This is a signal to close the position early. Now I propose to analyze the definition of breakout potential according to the chart. It's simple. The potential on the chart is the next level. I mean high or low. You have four simple examples. Horizontal and sloping levels. Blue lines mark the final breakout potential. And blue arrows mark the extreme on where our breakout potential is. It's important to remember that you can only hold the final potential to a smaller part of the position. You must hold your traded amount and close in parts. I divide my traded amount into four parts. I close the first one on the first price impulse. Then I divide the entire breakout potential into three parts. And I close the position according to these three parts. There are examples of identifying potential and dividing it into three parts. The blue line is the final potential. The arrow is an extremum. Green line is the part in which the potential needs to be divided. The traded amount and its parts can be adjusted at the bottom of the other book. Now let's move on to the technique of the early position closing. Pay attention to other book and ticks. You have an example of a wall of amounts. Accumulation of huge amounts after overcoming the level. The potential of the trade is bad. The maximum we can take from this trade is the momentum when overcoming the level. Huge amounts are marked with the right arrows. Let's watch the video example of such a trade with early closing of the position and detection of huge amount in the other book. Luna coin. Great daily level. Price at 8.4. At the level there is a huge amount, here I place orders in parts. I was adding orders on breakout the huge amounts. Huge amounts start to push the price in my direction and I hope for a little breakout of a huge amount at the price of 8.44. An impulse after that. But I made a mistake here. I place orders in advance. It was necessary to enter the breakout of the amount at 8.44 price. I didn't wait for it. I held in advance the traded amount until the last wall amount of the other book was seen. We didn't break out this wall. A small amount of $10,000 $6,000 started to appear in the shorts. But at the time of the trade I was still standing, although there was no activity. At the point they are not still placing orders, but I assumed it was a fake and I was already planning to close. Participants placed 100,000 in resistance. Then another 100,000. And another 100,000. And I closed my position by market. I lost about $1,000 on this trade. Now I propose to see an example of an early closing position based on ticks. 
Since the activity in the tape can only be understood by video, I immediately suggest you see an example of this trait. SXP coin, 2.93 level. I place orders for the execution of a huge amount a little in advance. The amount is minimal because the level is very weak. I don't expect a good impulse. After our comment there is one no activity at the level. Waiting for activity I was in a trade for about 15-20 minutes and when it finally disappeared I closed my position by market. It's about $200 profit. We looked at two trades that were closed ahead of chart. Now let's look at the perfect closing trade at the final potential. Wi-Fi coin. Here is a good level at a price of 40,500. At this level the spot had a short fall amount at a price of 80 lots. That's a lot of this coin. Not far from the historical high at a price of 43,000. While breaking out a huge amount, good activity appeared on the long side. And when the amount started to push the price, I got a pink, I placed orders not for the best prices. Nothing was placed in short and there was no special selling activity. I'm talking about spot right now. In such cases, when the historical high is nearby, it's important to watch the spot. There is a good breakout with huge amounts. I plan to close the first part on impulse. Place it limit orders for closing the first part. On spot at this time, participants also actively place long contracts. I close in parts as planned earlier. Already closed most of it, more than two thirds, and already left the smallest part to pull a little. Now we have already touched a historical high. The buyer turned on who periodically buys 0.2 lots. I understand that the finale of this breakout is close. And I closed all my fans that I left by the market. I consider the trade to be one of the best. It worked out like a plant. About $4,000 were earned on this trade. On that day I set a profit record. Well, then let's take stock. First, we need to mark the potential on the chart. I will say immediately you will very rarely close the position on the final potential. Often you will be hindered by huge amounts, which will be placed in resistance because it's much easier for large participants to realize their funds while there is activity in the market. Closing position ahead for your final target is OK. The second is to pay attention to the other book and analyze it. As I said, a large amount of resistance is a position closure signal or its reduction. Third is the ticks. Look at the activity in the ticks. I suggest you filter ticks over $1000. Calculate what amount for coins is more than $1000 and hide other amounts. If activity in our direction is quiet, then this is a signal for early closure of the position. I would like to add postscript. Trading is a lateral execution of the right actions. These actions need to be analyzed. You can analyze your actions through your trade trackers or through your trader's diary. You can keep a diary in a free form or use specialized diaries. Analysis of trades is very important, both for the beginner and professionals. Even in days or weeks when you have a negative financial result, it is important that your actions in the market are correct. Only in this case you will make long-term profit.